Hello and welcome to this new tutorial series. In this series I will recreate the famous game Clash Royale. Let's get started. So in this first video I want to do the spawning stuff so I can spawn some uh, troops who will then fight against some other troops. I will just do the spawning today. Uh, in some later parts I will do multiplayer support. I will do many many things. I will build some maps but <laughs> don't um, think that the maps will look good. Maybe they will, but I'm not that talented when it comes to art. But uh, I hope you will learn something in this series or just copy and paste what I do. Uh, I don't care. So uh, just start with a normal actor. This will be our troop that we will spawn. I will just call this blueprint underscore um, troop. Okay, uh, let's start this. Uh, here we will uh, do the... Where did it start? On the other screen. Here we will do the AI later uh, in another part. Uh, but in this part I will just add something to visualize where it is. Let's just add a sphere. Okay, that looks good. And now I will do the spawning stuff. Um, but uh, before we do the actual code, let's do some UI, which is underscore UI. Um, mm, let's do a little catch. I am not sure if I want to do this for mobile uh, first, so I will do it for a PC first. Uh, so not for mobile, but a PC Clash Royale um, at the beginning uh, at least. So let's attend Canvas panel. Then uh, we will need some other stuff. Okay, uh, th this is the UI. Uh, let's create another user interface and let's call this widget underscore card. This is actually the different cards we can pull. And then let's do another one. We call this widget underscore um, uh, card underscore drag. Okay, so we need these three uh, UI eyes in order to have a card spawning system. Um, so let's do just this. Okay, let's add a canvas panel in the others, uh, add other UI elements too. Uh, in here and in here. Okay, so let's finish the setup of the UI. Uh, let's save everything like that, go into the UI and then go to user created and uh, we will find our card here. Um, in Clash Royale, I think you have four cards, so let's just search for a horizontal box. Um, move this into here and copy this a few times. Make it uh, maybe fill. This also, make it fill, make it fill. Make it fill, or I won't make it fill, but I will go to our card and design it like here with a size panel and instead of something different. Uh, let's just do the width and the height. I want the width to be 100 and the height maybe 200, 250. Um, let's custom 100, 250. This is a little bit too high, 200. Uh, this is a little bit too high, 180, uh, a little bit too high, 170, this is a little bit too high, 160, uh, a little bit too high, okay 150 looks good, let's do 150 here too, uh, in the size box and now if we go to the UI and click on this little thing, it is scaled at the scale of 100 to 150, okay, um, so this is our card uh, for now. Let's move this down here. Why is my PC lagging? Uh, I don't know. Let's set the anchor. Zero, zero, and 0.5, and uh, one. No, wait, let's set this to zero, two. Oh, that, that was dumb. So we have uh, four cards. Let's set this to 450, so there's a little space in between. Mm, this is also mobile size now, I guess, uh, but I don't care. Let's add the size, uh, the height to 200. I think this is just fine. Okay, also I want a little border. 
uh, for the cards maybe so it looks better let's add the horizontal box on the border let's uh, set the border to be here let's set the position to zero zero maybe this uh, a little bit smaller 250 uh, uh, no not this size but this size let's set this to 450 500 Okay, let's set the alignment back to the correct ones. Okay, uh, I think this looks good. Uh, before we start with the cards and the dragging, uh, let's just quickly... Uh, I don't even have a player. So let's just um, quickly add that. Okay, we want to create a game. We want to have everything clean. So. Uh, let's make a new blueprint and select a game mode base underscore main underscore game underscore play. Maybe we will maybe we will have different uh, different game mode in the menu in the main menu uh, when uh, the game is finished. So let's just call this play. Let's have another. Uh, let's have a player controller PC underscore. I'll play in here you want to create the widget so go to begin play create widget let's uh, drag and drop out the get a player uh, the self as we are the player controller let's select the UI and add this to the viewport we also want to show the mouse cursor and we want this game to be mm, UI only, so we don't have any keyboard inputs. We just want the touch screen and so on. Show the mouse cursor, set the widget to be this. Make this like this, so it's a little, it, uh, it looks a little bit uh, better. And if we now press uh, play, nothing happens because let's go in here for player controller, set our player controller, save this go to here i will save everything for now go to the world uh, and drag and drop this into here now if this would start we can actually see we have this bar bar here so let's just uh, go new editor window and okay just shit on what i said before let's just uh, instantly make a mobile game so uh, let's just do this for now Mm -hmm. You would set this up a little bit different if you really, really want to make a mobile game, but it's uh, this is a very um, early state in development, so it doesn't matter. Um, so if we have this screen, we can actually change the UI. And uh, before I forget to say this, this isn't a tutorial, this is just I recreate a game and if you guys learn something this is uh, great so let's set the alignment to be like this but this won't work out as this is on fill uh, this is on fill let's make a little padding on the left side of the middle thing but on the right side here just on the right side. We could use spacers uh, here, uh, which would maybe make things cleaner, uh, but let's do this for now. Uh, this would will look a little bit better. Okay, let's continue with the cards. In the card, uh, we actually need to design them. So I don't have any image of a troop, so I will just uh, for uh, to visualize, to visualize things, make this card blue. And we will just have uh, one single card uh, for the first part of the series. Um, also, uh, save the map. Level underscore... Uh, hmm, what is this? Uh, test level. Save this. Perfect. Let's hit play for now. Okay, we have cards, but if we try to drag and drop them, nothing happens. Okay, then let's just quickly create a new mm, pawn. Call this pawn underscore play. Add this to game mode. Uh, default pawn. 
Uh, let's go into here, add a camera. You don't need to add one, but we will add one. Uh, also, mm, I want to rotate the camera. So let's just do this, like so. And uh, now, where for the fuck do we spawn? Player start unloaded. Hmm. Why is this unloaded? This is weird. Because it is in a... Ah, this is the new level system, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I don't actually use it once, so let's add a new one. Let's make this to zero, zero, zero. Why don't we see anything? This is annoying as fuck, holy shit. Okay, never mind, let's create a new level. Basic, this is better. Um, if we now press play, oops, we now press play, we actually see a platform, this is great. And we can fly because this is not our game mode. So at this, now we can move, but we have our cards here. Also, uh, now we can add a player start again. I will quickly also save this level. Uh, to level underscore level one. Set this to zero, zero, zero. Mm, to make things easier, we can actually keep the player at zero, zero, zero and just add a camera spring into here. This is not a camera spring, a spring arm. And add the spring arm to the, give the camera to the spring arm. Let's uh, change the rotation. Let's add the rotation to here. Let's make the spring arm bigger. So now we can spawn when we have multiplayer both at zero, 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 and then just rotate one of them. And this doesn't work as the spring arm is colliding with the floor. So let's do this, and this is perfect. Okay, um, the, this two collision test is just uh, in, like tracing along this line, and if it hits something, the camera is like uh, where it hit, so it doesn't clip through any walls or something. Okay, so let's continue with the drag and drop and the spawn uh, mechanic where we want to spawn our troop. Uh, okay, no, but first uh, let's also design the this thing, um, let's search for size box. Make this to the same size as the uh, as the normal card. I want to change one thing though. I want to change the image to be red, so we can see a difference actually when we do. Uh, something or when we don't. Okay, okay, okay. So now uh, still nothing happens that we are doing this now. So we actually have um, this card trick finished. We just need to add some. Um, uh, how do you say it? Um, you would need. Uh, you need to go to the card. Then you need to. Uh, go to event graph, go to functions override and search for um, on mouse button down. Also search for uh, on drag cancelled and also search for, oh I'm sorry, not for drag cancelled but for drag detected and also search for on drop, there it is. Okay, so we have these two functions and uh, these three functions actually. And, and uh, oh no, we also need the on drag cancelled, of course. Yes, I forgot. Okay, so let's search, uh, uh, start with the on mouse button down. Uh, this is pretty, to, 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 uh, pretty easy to do. From the mouse event to detect the drag if pressed like this. Now select the left mouse button and do it like this. Compile and save it. 
Uh, then let's go to the uh, um, let's go into uh, the on drag detected. In here, we actually want to create the drag widget. So create a widget. Uh, uh, now, if I think about it, we could just create the widget we had. Uh, but never mind. Get the player controller like this. Um, then we want to select the widget underscore card the drag. Then we want to create a drag and drop operation and then we want to do this for the visual uh, thing okay this looks fine also combine this let's go to the next node on drop uh, oh no we don't uh, actually need this we just need to on cancelled i guess uh, where is it uh, in the designer not here in the event graph, I mean. And in here, we want to get the pointer event, get the screen space position. This is just the uh, position of the mouse. Um, we want to get the player controller and deproject the screen to the world. Um, so we actually get where the cursor is in the world. Um, yes, I think you got that. You will see it soon. So etc. Now the project screen to world. Uh, combine this. Uh, then we actually want to. So uh, we now got the two D like. We got the two D point on the screen, but in three D. And now from this location, we want to do a line trace by channel. Uh, this is the start position, the direction. Uh, we need to multiply this like ma uh, times. Uh, I don't know. This is just, just some basic um, math here. We need to convert this to a float and combine this like with 5000. Okay, um, then we can combine this. Let's just break this. Hit a branch if we hit something. If not, uh, this would be fatal. But we will build the map uh, later so we need to hit something if we don't i don't know we can just crash the game or something <laughs> and but let's spawn a blueprint and this is our troop uh, spawn actor from class let's select the class to our troop blueprint troop where is it there okay and then here split this uh, get the location and actually put this into here uh, this should work if I'm sh uh, think, think if I think so we have this if I drop this this actually spawns not on the correct position let's try this we can also pull any card and it won't go away uh, nor does it uh, affect which troop we place and we actually want to change this later on okay now nothing happens anymore this is a little bit weird, I guess. Okay, why does nothing happen now? Nothing happened now? Wait, let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, actually, let me draw the line trace. Where is it? Card. Uh, let me draw this to be persistent. Uh, let's do this. Okay, now uh, this is a little bit uh, shitty because we need this. Let's drag and drop this. Oh, this worked. Uh, no, it didn't. But it spawned something. Uh, let's see the line trace. So this is our camera. This looks great, uh, to be honest. Oh, this actually is too short of a line trace. This is why it didn't spawn every time. So let's make this even longer. Uh, it was just 5,000 units, it's way too short. Let's make this even longer. Wait, wait, wait a second. Aha. Uh -huh. We of course need to get the impact point. Hello guys, I made a little mistake. Uh, I will quickly fix um, that when you play it in like a... Uh, 
um, mobile size, then it also places it at the correct position. So if I show it to you, it always places the ball exactly where my mouse is. You can also do it uh, here and it will work just fine. Uh, I did that wrong. Um, just go into your card blueprint and at the get mouse position on viewport node, drag and drop um, a multiply node out of this and connect this to here instead of that. And then you are good to go. Also, don't forget the viewport scale. And then you are good to go. Everything should work. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and goodbye and subscribe, please.